And, but we were terrible. The four guitar players and nobody could play. Yeah. But we were trying, you know, sure. and uh, and it was an opportunity to open a show for for Jerry Lee, mm -hmm. who was the the guy. I mean, uh, Great Balls of Fire was it was and is mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. So you know that was uh, it was a lot of fun. I bet it was. Uh So I've been doing it all the whole life. Yeah. And how'd you get out to California? How did I get out there? I got out there with a divorcee and a 66 Chrysler and some mad money. <laughs> did you write that song? Because that is, sounds like the greatest song No, I wrote two more ever. bottles of wine. That's what I wrote <laughs> when she left me after two months. But you kind of still opened that up already. What do you remember about writing that song and where it about came from? About writing two more bottles of wine? Yeah. Well, me and Maggie and Glenn Clark, who was my partner, sure. We were living in an apartment in Venice, had four locks on the door, and the whole place was painted black. Floor, ceiling, walls, toilet, bathtub, everything was black. <laughs> I didn't do it. It's, uh, it's all we could afford to rent. Okay. Uh, and, and, and you know, we were, we were first time in California. I had no idea how dangerous. Venice was a very dangerous place at that time. And the place we lived in, I don't know the real name of it, but the name everybody knew it by was Methodine Manor. There was, there was a living room, kind of, and then a middle room, and then a little kitchen. You know? Well, Glenn fixed him a little place in the room up front. Maggie and I took the door, double doors off a closet, pushed our mattress up into there so we had about that much privacy, and put sheer around it. And that's where we that's where we stayed. Mm -hmm. Well, she had enough and told me she was leaving. I sat there on that mattress and wrote that song. We came out west together with a common desire. The fever we had might set the west coast on fire. Two months later got trouble in mind. Maggie moved out and left me behind. It's all right, midnight and I got two more bottles of wine. The way she left turned my head around. It seemed like overnight she just up and put me down. Ain't gonna let it bother me today. I've been working them too tight anyway. It's all right, it's midnight and I got two more bottles of wine. It's all right, it's midnight and I got two more bottles of wine. 